give God some thanks in here. Hallelujah. Come on, open your mouth and tell God thank you. Come on, lift your hands. Glory to God. Extend your hands in worship. Hallelujah. Come on, give him thanks. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell him thank you for the good and the bad. Tell him thank you for waking you up this morning. Tell him thank you for starting you on your way. Tell him thank you for giving you the UC activities of your limbs. Tell him thank you for providing food and shelter. Hallelujah. God, we say thank you this morning, oh God. Hallelujah. God, we come to give you thanks. Hallelujah. You said it all things to give you thanks. But this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning us. And so, Lord, we just say thank you this morning. We don't come with a bunch of complaints this morning. But, God, we're grateful and we're thankful. Hallelujah. God, we come to give you thanks. God, we come to give your name praise, the honor, and the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Hallelujah. Because of what you've done for us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We magnify your name. Oh, God, we glorify your name, oh God. Oh, God, we invoke your presence now. Holy Spirit, we invite you in to have thine own way. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you now, oh God. Oh, God, we praise your name, oh God. Oh God, we stand in need of you this morning, oh God. Oh God, we need you, oh God. Hallelujah, we need you like the necessary things of life. Oh God, we need you more than anything. We need you more than anybody, oh God. Oh God, we magnify you and we thank you. Oh God, we glorify you, oh God. Thank you for watching over us last night. God, as we slept in slumber, thank you, oh God, that you watched over us, oh God, to the point where the bullet didn't come in our house. You watched over us, oh God, to the point where the thief or the robber did not come in. Oh God, you watched over us, oh God, to the point where the enemy had to pass over. Oh God, you watched over us last night. Oh God, you kept us from danger seen and unseen. And God, we give you, I am a higher. God, we give you praise this morning, God. We bless your name, oh God. We honor you this morning, oh God. And God, for that we say thank you, oh God. You watched over us, oh God. In the name of Jesus, for when the devil was lurking out to destroy us, God, you kept your hand upon us, oh God. And God, for that we say thank you this morning. Oh God, we praise you, oh God. We got a million and one reasons to thank you. We got a million and one reasons to give you glory. And God, we thank Thank you, oh God. If we had 10,000 tongues, God, it wouldn't be enough to say thank you, oh God. But with this one that we do have, oh God, oh God, we want to say thank you this morning. Oh God, because you're a good God. You're a mighty God. You're the Savior and the keeper of our soul. Hallelujah. You're the keeper of our mind. All right, God, you're the keeper, oh God, of our thoughts today, oh God. You're the keeper of the intent of our heart, oh God. And God, we ask, oh God, that you will continue to keep us, oh God. But keep us with our mind stayed on you, oh God. Because the word of God said you'll keep us in perfect peace. If our mind is stayed on you, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, we thank you today, God, that there's nothing too hard for you, oh God. Hallelujah, glory to God. The things that we've been praying about, God, I thank you, God, that you're able to do it, Father, even if you choose not to, Father, in the name of Jesus, oh God. We like the three Hebrew boys, oh God, we know that you're able. If you don't come this time, God, you still, God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And God, we say thank you this morning. Hallelujah. We will not bow to bail today, but our hope is in Jesus today. Hallelujah. Christ, a solid rock, I stand. And all other ground is sinking sand. Oh, God, we dare not trust the sweetest frame. But God, we're going to wholly lean on Jesus' name. On oh, Christ, a solid rock, oh God, that we stand today, God, because you're firm today. Hallelujah. Mighty today, God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we give you, God, our problems today. We give you our issues this morning. Oh, God, have thine own way, oh God. Some things, God, we need you to change. Some things we need you to fix, oh God. But whatever it is, oh God, you're able to do it. And God, we give you praise this morning. Oh, God, have thine own way, God. Have your way in this place, oh God. Do what you want to do, oh God. Say what you want to say in the name of Jesus, but we cancel the plot of the devil today. We cancel the plot of Leviathan today, God. We cancel him null and void. We cancel the spirit of Jezebel today. 
in the name of Jesus, that nothing will hinder our praise. Ah, uh, that nothing will hinder our service. Ah, uh, that nothing will hinder us, oh God, from entering to the kingdom of God today. That nothing will hinder us, oh God, from entering to the presence of God. Ah, uh, God, we thank you now, God. Have thine own way. Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, do what you want to do in here. We give you an invitation now. I uh, to show up and show out, God. Ah, uh, Holy Spirit, have thine own way. Father, we thank you today. Father, remember the sick and afflicted everywhere. Remember those in the hospital. Remember those in the nursing home. God, remember those that's lying at the point of death. Father, you're a healer. You are Jehovah Rapha. You are the Lord that healeth thee. Father, I thank you today that you are the great physician. Hallelujah. Thank you that you've never lost the case. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I thank you that you do all things well. Whether we understand it or not. Whether we like it or not. That you do all things well. And so, Lord, we trust your hand today. Hallelujah. We thank you today. Remember our unsaved loved ones. Remember our families today, Father. Remember our friends today. Oh, God, and don't forget our enemies, Father. In the name of Jesus, bless them like you never blessed them before. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you. Ah, God, love our enemies, Father. In the name of Jesus, glory to God, and we thank you. Oh, God, we praise your name and we give you glory. God, remember those on the prayer list today. Father, you you know the name. You know the request. Father, we pray, oh God, that you will meet every need. God, according to your riches and glory. Father, we praise you and we thank you today. Remember every person online. Remember every person in the building. God, you know what everybody stands in need of today. Hallelujah. God, thank you for tuning your ear to hear what we have to say. Father, in the name of Jesus, we ain't asking nothing too big and we ain't asking nothing too small. But God, I thank you that whatever we ask, Father, you're capable of handling it. And so, Lord, I thank you. Bear the burdens of your people today. In the name of Jesus, you told us to cast our cares upon you because you care for us and so Lord thank you for caring for us Father even when we feel like you left us alone God thank you for caring for us Father we thank you today that you are a prayer answering God thank you that your supernatural miracle working power is still at work and Father we thank you today Father we give you praise now we're getting ready to go into our praise and our worship service Father we pray now that you would get in every song God let your will be done today God, most of all, be glorified in this place. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let an unusual anointing fall in this place like never before. And Father, we thank you now. We give your name the praise, the honor, and the glory. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen and amen. Come on, clap your hands and bless the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. We're going into our praise and our worship.
scripture reading for this morning. Amen. Let's receive him as he comes. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. My scripture today will come from Joshua 1, Joshua 1, verse 9. Okay. Have I not commanded thee, be strong and of a good courage. Yes. Be not afraid, neither be, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, with, her, with her so ever thou goest. Amen. 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 Beautiful. Amen. Let's bless the Lord for the reading of the word of God. Amen. Glory to God. We praise God. Amen. At this time, we're getting ready to have our inspirational moment. Amen. Coming from our young adult. Amen. Sister Jairus Johnson. Amen. Glory to God. Let's receive her. Amen. As she comes. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Let's receive her. Glory to God. Um, first, give an honor to God. Um, Apostle Clay in her absence, Pastor Tia yes. and Elder Lynch. Um, I just want to thank God for another opportunity to be able to speak on another Youth Sunday. Amen. So my topic for today is how bad do you want it? Uh -huh. And my subtopic is get up. 
Amen. Um, if right. we can all bow our heads for a word of prayer. Bless you, Lord. Father God, thank you for another day. God, thank you for another opportunity to be able to be in your house one more time. Yes. God, I thank you for all of those who are here today, as well as our viewing, our live audience. And God, I ask that I just decrease, God, so that you may increase. Yes, in God. Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. So we've all been in a place where we've second-guessed if we've made the right decision. We've had moments in life where we've asked our best friend, our mom, our dad, grandparents, should I do this, should I do that, should I go out and do this business venture, whatever the case may be. Um, we've all wondered if we've had the ability to accomplish a goal or meet a deadline. Mm -hmm. We've also been in a place where we've put ourselves on the back burner due to feeling like it may not be the right time for me. Mm -hmm. But all of this really boils down to the question, how bad do you want it? That's right. In John 5, there was a man at the pool of Bethesda who had an infirmity for 38 years. That's a long time. Yeah. One day his life changed forever. Mm -hmm. So one day Jesus arrives on the scene and there were pe there were also other people there who were blind, lamed, paralyzed. Mm -hmm. Every mm -hmm. There was a lot of infirmities going on there. Mm -hmm. So Jesus approached the man and he just went straight to the point and he said, Will thou be made whole? Of course, his response was nothing but excuses. He said, you know, I don't have anyone to help me, you know, get into the pool. Or his other excuse was, there's always somebody who goes ahead of me. That's right. So let's put a pin right there. Okay. How many times has Jesus showed up for us and asked us the question, will we be do we want to be well and we've made an excuse like god i'm not ready god i still want to have my pity party god i don't have any help or not even just you know do you want to be well mm -hmm. you know do you want to make this change in your life mm -hmm. do you want to you know make the move to another state or another country how many times have we just felt inadequate and god was just right there saying like i'm right here to help you That's right. i'm guilty okay. yes. so um, once again, you know, he was given, you know, all these excuses as to, you know, why he wasn't ready. But a lot of times God is waiting on us to just say that's, yes. That's right. Okay, so back to the text. So Jesus paid pretty much his response, no attention. And Jesus just flat out said, rise, take up thy bed and walk. That's what Immediately, the man got up, picked up his bed and walked. Right. Now, of course, he had to hear a few words from Jesus after that. You know, there's always a stipulation. So further on in the passage, Jesus finds him in the temple and basically says, you've been made whole, so sin no more, because if you do, worse things will happen to you. Mm -hmm. So after that, the man goes and spreads the word to the Jews, you know, just saying that Jesus made me whole. You know, I took up my man and walked. I'm healed. All that good stuff. Mm -hmm. So all it took was the man to say yes and believe that he could be healed. Yes. Say that one more time. All it took was the man to say yes and believe that he could be healed. Yes. How many times has Jesus asked you if you want to be healed from your past? Mm -hmm. How many times has Jesus asked you, do you want to be healed in your body? Mm -hmm. How many times has Jesus asked you, do you want to be free in your mind and spirit? Yes. How many times has Jesus even asked you, do you want to make this ne next step in your business, in your next organization, even in reference to your goals? Mm -hmm. What has Jesus asked you that's brought you, that's brought you to give him the reasons why it won't work? Don't you see that despite the man's present state, he had to ask himself, how, how bad do you want it? Mm -hmm. yeah. He pushed past yeah. his emotions and pushed towards the Savior. Yeah. He got up and he was made whole. Mm -hmm. Jesus wants us to get up and walk into what he has in store for us. Right. Jesus sacrificed his life by dying so that we could live. He got up so that we could get up again. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus' sacrifice exemplifies that he wants us to get up from where we are. But the question is, and I'm going to pose it again, how bad do you want it? That's Thank right. you. Um, at this time, we're going to ask Sister Gatora to come, amen, and render us a selection, amen, after which we're going, amen, into the word of God, amen. Let's receive her, amen, as she comes. I've had some good days.
that's the question, Lord. of the believer. Amen. And so we thank him today. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh God, praise your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 We give him thanks today. Amen. We greet you again in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory to God. Before I go into the message, and those of you that have your Bibles, amen, we're going to Acts chapter number one. Amen. You can just put your finger in there. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank him 
today. Amen. Before we go, amen, into the word of God. Amen. I want to share some exciting news with you. Amen. We're getting ready to go into our 21 days of hope. Amen. Glory to God. And those of you that do have a cell phone, I want you to get it out real quick. Amen. Those of you that's online, amen, we want you to get your cell phone out. Amen. Glory to God. I want you to text, amen, the word hope, amen, to 704, glory to God, 397-3004. Amen. Again, I want you to text the word hope. Amen. To 704-397-3004. Amen. We're getting ready to go on a digital mission trip. Amen. As we're leading up, amen, to Resurrection Sunday. Amen. So what's going to happen is when you sign up today, amen, you will begin to receive emails from me. You will be able, begin to receive texts from me. Amen. Glory to God as we're exploring the next um, beginning March the 15th. Amen is when it will officially start uh, the three weeks leading up to Resurrection Sunday. Amen. And so you're going to receive some emails from me and text. Amen. That will encourage you. Amen. To minister to somebody else as well as yourself. Amen. Throughout this journey of the 21 days of hope. After all, you must know, amen, that the Resurrection Sunday is the story of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ when he was buried, amen. Not only was he buried, but he was resurrected, amen. And because of his death, burial, and resurrection, we are able to declare that we have salvation, amen. And so we want to share that story, amen. Glory to God. We want to offer hope, amen, to somebody else, amen. So while you're offering hope to somebody else, you're going to offer hope to yourself, amen. Glory to God. And so there's going to be some emails and texts, amen, that's going to cause you, amen, and force you, amen, to do some things that you probably haven't done, amen, before, amen. And it is going to force you to use your uh, social media platforms. It's going to force you to use your text messaging options and all of that, amen. So we want to encourage you, amen, again, text the word HOPE. Amen to 704-397-3004. Again, text the word HOPE to 704-397-3004. I want to say to my listening audience, amen, we always want to stay connected with you online. Amen. So those of you that's visiting us online, you may not be a member of Refuge. Amen. But you want to stay in touch with us. I want you to text the word online. O-N-L-I-N-E. Amen. O-N-L-I-N-E to 704-397-3004. I promise you I won't haunt you. I promise you I'm not going to uh, uh, um, Sell your information. Glory to God. We just want to stay in contact with you. Amen. Our listening audience online. Amen. So again, text the word online. O-N-L-I-N-E. Amen. To 704-397-3004. We just want to share the goodness of the Lord of Jesus. Amen. With you. Amen. And we want to stay connected. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Let's bless the Lord for our 21 days of hope. Amen, that we're getting ready, amen, to go into. Amen. Those of you, amen, that have your Bibles, amen, we do honor each and every one of you. We do honor the apostle in her absence, amen. We do bless the Lord for the, uh, the lynch today. Amen. Y'all thank the Lord for every lynch last day of Black History Month. He got on his heritage gear. Praise the Lord, amen. Let's thank the Lord, amen, for him. Praise God, amen. We bless God today. Acts chapter number one. Amen. We're going to read verses one through four. And I'm actually building um, because I was going to preach my other message this morning. Um, but I'm going to stick with this one because this one is going to help me build on where we're going next Sunday. And so we're going to deal with Acts chapter number one, um, beginning at verse number one down through verse number four. And the word of the Lord reads, and the former treaties have I made, O Delophilus, of all that Jesus began both to do and teach until the day in which he was taken up. After that, through the Holy Ghost, had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen. 
to whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs, being seen of them 40 days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God and being assembled together with them, with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait. Somebody said, but wait. wait. For the promise of the Father, which saith he, ye have heard of me. I'm going to draw my attention to verse number four, and that's where we will dwell today. And it reads, and being assembled together with them. This is Jesus now, after he has ascended, he comes back and he's been showing himself for 40 days off and on. He's now gathering with them and he says to them, uh, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem. I don't need y'all to leave now. Right, right. This ain't the time to go nowhere. But he said, but wait for the promise of the Father, which saith he, ye have heard of me. I want to just talk to you from the words in verse number four. It says, but wait. I know I recently preached a message pertaining to this, but I'm going to preach it again today coming from another perspective. Uh, oftentimes it's difficult for one to do what they encourage other people to do. Because when it comes to us, sometimes, if the truth be told, it's harder for us to believe, but we can always believe for somebody else. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For example, I don't know, you know, if your mom or your grandma, uh, the older seasoned ones, when somebody used to tell them that they're going through in their body and they don't feel well, most times the grandma or the mom would say, you need to go to the doctor. But it's something about when the mom or the grandma not feeling well and everybody say, but big mama, you need to go to the doctor. Big mama said, no, I'll wait a little while. If things get worse, then I'll go. But how is it that we can send somebody else to the doctor? But when it comes to us, we want to wait a moment. Um, I need you to see here that sometimes you can pray for such and such and we can say I believe God on the behalf of somebody else but when it comes to something personal or something pertaining to you here comes the struggle now between faith and doubt. I'm building on my message for next week because my message next week deals with prayer but it deals with prayer from the point that prayer don't fix everything. Uh -huh. uh, prayer don't everything but it changes everything y'all ain't talking okay all right prayer don't fix everything but it changes everything come on here uh, you got to understand now y'all it's something about we could believe God for the deliverance of somebody else but yet when it comes to us we tend to struggle huh? I have faith that God can and I have faith that God will but I find myself struggling now between what God is saying and my flesh, glory to God, my flesh and my spirit are doing two different things. Uh -huh. The spirit is saying, stand still and wait on God. But my flesh said, hurry up now. I need this done right now. Come on here. You heard, you may have heard of a place called wait. Um, that place called wait is the desert. It's the dry place between asking God for something and actually receiving what God has promised for you uh -huh. is a place of uncertainty, is a place of frustration, is a place of anxiety, is a place where your faith is tested that no one ever wants to enjoy and never wants to find themselves in that place called wait. Uh, wait, y'all, will help us sometime uh, at the end of the day to make a second guess. Glory to God if God is even real. Come on here. Uh -huh. That place called wait will make a second guess whether God really said what he said. Come on here. Why? Because we're so uncertain about uh, you know what has been said. Uh, waiting for anything can produce glory to God. Many emotions whether you go from anger whether you go from frustration whether you go to hopelessness because if we are truthful regardless of how spiritual that we think we are most of us hate waiting on something. 
Uh huh. Glory to God. You know, uh, some of us have. I told y'all. Sometimes I feel like I have the hurry woman syndrome. Uh huh. Because at the end of the day, I want to be in and I want to be out. Come on here. I want to go through the drive-through line without having to wait. I want to drive on the highway without having to wait. Come on here. I want to just keep it moving at the end of the day. But can I tell y'all that sometimes when it comes to God, God will say no. Uh huh. God will say yes. Uh huh. And God will say wait. Ah, uh, but I pull the feelings get hurt, y'all, when he say wait. Come on here. Ah, uh, you know, because we feel like we've been waiting long enough. Come on here. We feel like we need it right now. Come on here. But understanding now, being in this flesh, we want everything done so quickly. Uh -huh, because technology now has begun to spoil us because at the, at the end of the day, everything is just at our fingertip. Come on here. Everything now is just at the push of a button. Come on here. Uh, you understand society now is grooming us to meet the demands of our rapidly uh, uh, moving society and our patience is growing thin. Huh? It is because at the end of the day, society say push the button and it's done. Come on here. You know now you do mobile banking. Come on here. You don't even have to go to the ATM anymore. All you do is push the button on your phone huh? and it's already handled. Come on here. All you gotta do is scan your check. Come on here. And the money is deposited in your bank account. I'm just saying now so technology and society is now grooming us to make us think that everything gotta come in a hurry. Come on here. Uh, at the end of the day God says, uh, uh, he says I need you to stand still uh -huh, and see. Come on here. While most of us now live life glory to God like the white rabbit in Alice in Wonderland. Keep running around glory to God and ain't got time to say hello. All I gotta do is say goodbye because I'm on my way. Come on here. You understand now according to Webster's Dictionary. Waiting now means to stay in a place of expectation. It means now to delay serving. Uh, it means to serve, to wait tables. It means to remain stationary in readiness of expectation. It means to pause for another, to look forward to an expected end. Uh, but understanding now what the Bible says is more than just standing still with a level of expectation but rather is looking forward to what will be. Come on here. But it is the process of becoming what God wants us to be. And so as I will talk on next week, glory to God because prayer as I said don't fix everything. But you know what it's going to fix? Come on here. It's going to fix you in the process. Come on here. Ah, your situation might not change. Come on here. Ah, but you got the change in the process. Glory to God. But that's next Sunday. Huh? Uh, but now to our text today. Uh, the process now is a series of progressive uh, steps by which we must attain. What God does in us while we wait, y'all, is just as important uh, as we're waiting. Glory to God. Waiting, according to the Bible, is not a passive uh, waiting. It's not just standing around with your hands in your pocket. But tell somebody you gotta work while you wait. Come on here. Uh, at the end of the day, waiting does not mean you can't do nothing. Come on here. Uh, but biblically now, those that wait are those who work. Come on here. Tell somebody those that wait, come on here, are those that work. Glory to God. Because they know that their labor is not in vain in the Lord. Uh, uh, you understand, we look at the farmer. And the farmer, he can wait because for the harvest, glory to God, he has done the work of sowing the seed. He has done the work of plowing the ground. Come on here. So what he does, he sit back, y'all, and he begin to wait on God. Come on here. Because he knows that he has attended to the field, glory to God. He know he has put fertilizer in the soil. He know he's watered the seed, glory to God. And so his expectation is that while I wait, come on here, I'm confident, Glory to God that I'm going to 
don't see a harvest. Well, they're talking. And so what am I saying to the people of God? That you've got to be confident in this season. Come on here. That what God has put in you, glory to God. What the promise that God has made unto you. Come on here. That you got to be confident in this very thing. That he that has promised it, God help us. That he's faithful to deliver. Come on here. He's faithful to do it. Come on here. At the end of the day, glory to God. God's going to do what he said. You got to understand that waiting, y'all. It calls us to be confident. Our waiting causes us to be disciplined. Glory to God. It causes us to have another level of expectation to the point where if you don't see it, come on here. Just like the three Hebrew boys, they told the king, come on, king. You might as well throw us in there. Glory to God. Because we get not getting ready to bow the bail. Glory to God. But understand that you can do what you have to do. Come on here. We going in the fire. Glory to God. Understanding that our God is going to show up. Glory to God. We just believe he will. Come on here. But if he don't. Come on here. Our faith is sure. Come on here. Our confidence said God Almighty that he going to show up anyhow. Come on here. Our confidence say glory to God that nothing shall happen to us. Come on here. That nothing shall catch God by surprise. Glory to God. Our confidence say come on here. Our expectation say uh, that God is going to show up in the midst of the fire. Come on here. I know it's hot in there. Come on here. I know other people have died in the fire. Come on here. But I'm confident, glory to God, that God will come on here. He will show up. Come on here. And so when we go to Acts chapter number one and verse number four and it says, and being assembled together with them, he commanded them, glory to God, that they should not leave Jerusalem. Come on here. Don't you leave your home place. Come on here. Don't you leave your place of believing. Come on here. Don't you leave your place of trusting. Don't you leave your place, glory to God, where your assurance is on me. Come on here. Don't you leave me in a time like this. Come on here. He said, don't leave Jerusalem. Come on here. He said, but I need you to wait for the promise of the Father. I know I promise you some stuff. Come on here. I know I promise you some things. Come on here. He said, but if you don't leave Jerusalem, come on here. I just need you now to wait on me. Come on here. Ah, God help me. Ah, I just need you to wait on me. Come on here. He said, but wait for the promise of the Father. Come on here. Say if he glory to God and he have heard of me glory to God. But waiting on the Lord, y'all. Maybe one of the most difficult aspects of this Christian wall. And when Jesus, glory to God, promised that he would return, he instructed his disciples. He said, I need John to wait for the promise of the Father. He was telling them this, glory to God, which means glory to God. I need y'all while y'all wait. Come on here. I need you to experience the peace of God. I need you to experience the prosperity of God. I need you to experience the power of God. And so in their way, Waiting, glory to God. They felt the wind of the Holy Ghost. Come on here. And they received the power of God. And ultimately, glory to God. They went out to change the world. Glory to God. And so waiting on the Lord, y'all. It requires a little bit of faith. Come on here. It takes faith. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The trusting God. Glory to God. Because trusting God sometimes. I got mean that I'm not going to get. Hallelujah. What I want when I ask. Come on here. But trusting him means that I believe God. He will provide it at the right time. Come on here. He will provide it at the right season. Come on here. And so you understand now, glory to God, that having faith while waiting on God means that you believe there is nothing that God cannot do. Come on here. Uh, when we told Jesus, told the disciples here in this particular passage of scripture, he doesn't tell them the key here, y'all. And reading, all he said was, but wait, glory to God. He didn't give him a timetable. Come on here. He didn't give him an exact day. Glory to God. Uh, but the Bible says here, he just told him to wait. Come on here. On the promise. Glory to God. But that's where we get stuck sometimes. We want God to tell us when he gonna do it. We want God to tell, him, tell us how he gonna do it. Come on here. We want God to give us the exact details. Glory to God. But can I inform you by the word of God? The Bible says that your thoughts are not like his thoughts. Come on here. And his ways are not like your ways. Come on here. Ah, his ways are so far past my 
find it out. Come on here. And so what I want to lighten the load for you today. Come on here. Is this rain on and blow with the car? Because at the end the Bible said in her back of chapter 2, blow with the car, that the vision is yet for an appointed time. Ha! What? But he said to wait on it. Come on. Ha! What? He said to wait on it. Blow with the car. And it shall speak glow with the car. And it shall not Ah, uh, you understand now. Uh, he don't have to give you a timetable. Come on here. Ah, uh, get off your horse. Come on here. Uh, asking God when glory to car because you ought to be confident in the fact uh, that he going to do it glory to car because those that wait on the promise. Come on here. Ah, uh, at the end it's going to speak glory to car and not lie glory to car. Understand now. It is a process, y'all, uh, which is a series Again, a progressive steps. Come on here. As we're learning patience in this world. Uh, that's why he said in 20 Jeremiah 29 and 11. He says, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord. They are thoughts of peace and not of evil. Uh, but they give you an expected end. And so while they were waiting in faith, glory to God. You got to understand that God can and God will, glory to God. But then they had to put Second Peter glory to God, chapter 1 into practice, uh, besides having faith, glory to God, they had to add patience, come on here and they had to add virtue, come on here virtue now meaning the fruits of the spirit, uh, according to Galatians chapter 5 you gotta add a little love in there, come on here you gotta add a little joy in there come on here, you gotta add a little patience in there, you gotta add a little kindness in there, you gotta add a little long suffering, come on here you gotta add a little self control Come on here, because there is no law against these things. Come on here, but understanding now that patience now it creates in us the understanding that not only is God who He say He is, but that you believe that God is who He say He is. Uh -huh. Understanding that God's timing is always perfect. Come on here, uh, I know you had Him down, uh, had Him pinpointed to a date and time. Uh -huh. I understand the rent man said by five o'clock. Come on here. But what am I trying to tell you? Glory to God. Is that God will show up. Come on here. When you least expect it. Come on here. At the end of the day. Glory to God. You will never waste time. Glory to God. Waiting on God. Glory to God. Understand waiting. Glory to God. It's God's way of seeing if we will trust him. Before we go on to the next move. Glory to God. That trust is a trust y'all. That has been added to patience. Come on here. Waiting on God. Glory to God reminds us that God is in control and that we are not glory to God. God uses waiting to make us humble uh, as waiting now reveals our lack of control. It exposes our weaknesses. It exposes our frailties. Come on here. But God is in control and we are not. Come on here. Sometimes you gotta tell yourself come on here that God's got this glory to God. I, I might as well sit down and shut up. Come on here and go on for the ride. Glory Glory to God, because he will take care of this. Glory to God. Understanding humility. Glory to God. Hallelujah is the disposition uh, for which we prepare our soul right here in the flesh. Come on here. Therefore, we have no reason to boast. We have no reason to have pride. Glory to God. But we ought to embrace our weaknesses because at the end of the day, it shows God that we're depending on him. And so Psalms 8, 3 and 4, he says, when I consider the heaven and the work of thy hands and the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained what is man that thou art mindful of him and the son of man that thou visit him not and there is something to be said there about true humility I waited on God y'all it increases our strength and during those times we wait patiently on God we know that deep down he's working glory to God while underneath all of this here glory to God God is building our character he's building our faith come on here at the end of the day in due time glory to God God will reveal everything glory to God that he's trying to do in us glory to God but those that wait glory to God will never be put to shame I know you look crazy in front of your family. I know you look crazy sometime in front of your friends because it look like God ain't doing nothing for you. Come on here. But at the end of the day, God will not allow 
you. Glory to God. To be put to shame. Glory to God. He will never disappoint you. Glory to God. But understand now that you got to learn that you got some strength. Glory to God. In the waiting process. Come on here. It takes strength to decide. Come on here. Whether I'm moving on to my next move. Come on here. But the Bible tells us that the joy of the Lord is your strength. Glory to God. And so now we got to seek God for strength. That we can stand on his word. That we got to stand on the rock of Jehovah. Come on here. And that we won't be moved. Glory to God. That we won't be swayed. Glory to God. That we stand firm in the promise of God. That we stand firm in the word of God. That if he's spoken y'all. He shall bring it to pass. And so now. In the times of waiting, my soul, hallelujah, is revived, glory to God. And my spirit man is renewed, glory to God. And Isaiah wrote in uh, Isaiah 40 and 31, he said, but they that wait upon the Lord, I uh -huh, shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as an eagle. But he started by saying, but they that wait, glory to God. Jesus was talking to the disciples, but he said, but wait to glory to God. So in the time Times of waiting. Come on here. You got to understand that God works while we wait. Come on here. I know you thought he was on vacation. I know you thought he went to Hawaii for a season. Ah, but you got to understand that God is working, y'all. While you waiting, glory to God. Something happens while there seems to be nothing happening. Come on here. Can I tell you that God is working behind the scenes? Glory to God. Just because you don't see it. Come on here. That don't mean he ain't moving. Come on here. God uses waiting. Now to change us in the process, glory to God. Underneath, glory to God. You got to understand. And as I was reading something, I found something so interesting. Come on here. And I'm not a science buff at all, uh, but I was reading something. And so when I was reading, I started reading about the Chinese bamboo tree. Uh, one thing it says about the bamboo tree uh, is one remarkable plant on the earth. The gardener plants the seed, and while he sees nothing uh, uh, but a single shoot that comes out the bulb in five years. Five years. He only sees one single shoot that comes out of a bamboo plant or tree for five years. Mm -hmm. I said, wow, that seems to be discouraging. When I put the rose plant in the ground, see, I start seeing it sprout up. It don't take five years, but in about five days, you start seeing something. But the bamboo, once he puts the seed in the ground and he has to water it every day, but he don't see no growth to five years. Ooh. And so they went on to say that this tiny shoot, however, again, must have food and water every day. During all the time, the gardener is caring for this plant, this tree, the exterior shoot will grow less than an inch, less than an inch. So we would ask, I said, well, why he keep doing that? Because it appears that nothing is at the end of the five years, when the scientists went on to say, however, that the Chinese bamboo will perform something incredible. Okay. It will grow an amazingly 90 feet tall over 90 days. So it takes five years to even get to a place of development. But in a matter of 90 days, it's at its maximum capacity. Ooh. The answer lies, y'all, in the unseen part of the tree. Understanding that the answer lies in the root system, because now everything now is going to the root or to the bottom of the tree so that it can be sustained, y'all. That's, that's it. That's so that when it starts to grow, it now has something to sustain. That's it. That's okay. it. I'm just saying that when God promised you something, I know it takes seem like it's taking a long time, but God is built, okay. God is building something so that when it comes, you can sustain. Oh, Understand, you understand. Through, during the first five years, the root structure 
it spreads deep and it spreads wide, preparing the support of the height of the tree of the plant. So Wikipedia suggests that the tree now measures or it goes within a 24 hour period. It goes to its maximum rate of growth of 48 inches in a short period of time. The Chinese bamboo is a picture now of faith, patience, strength, yes. control, and timing. Those are all the things that got us all out of sorts. When it comes to God, those are the things. It's the, it's the faith, it's the patience, it's the courage, it's the strength, and the timing. Those are the things that get us out of source because why? We're tired of waiting. But just think about the people who are trying to get this bamboo tree. They go five years and don't see nothing. Nothing. But oh, when them five years come, tell somebody 90 days. They see the maximum in 90 days. So as you wait, we continue holding on to God's unchanging hand. Um, because we understand that he's working. He's the master orchestrator and he's adding and increasing in ways that we're not even aware of. We must submit our process to what God is doing and we must realize that the Bible says in James chapter 1 verse number 4 he says but let patience have her perfect work in you that ye may be perfect and entire wanting nothing. Let patience have his perfect work. We don't want to wait but tell somebody let patience have his perfect work. When we wait on God and allow him to have his will, his way in our life, we become fully developed, lacking nothing. He says to us today, just wait on me. God is saying that. I really got this in control. I really got this for real in control, whether you think so or not. I know what I'm doing. I'm the orchestrator of this. I got all the blueprints. I got it all mapped out. So what you got to worry about? Because I'm in control. I said this the other week. If you, if you were in control, you know, things would be, you know, it would be worked out. It would be fixed already, right? But we're finding out that things are not in our control that we really thought was in our control. In our control. So what is God saying? That what I have for you, I'm going, I'm going to do it. I'm going to bring it to the expected end because I got a future and I got a hope. He says, I'm working on some things. I'm working some things out in you and I'm causing you to develop strength. I'm causing you to develop patience. I'm causing you to develop stability. I'm causing you to develop humility. I'm causing you to develop wisdom while you wait. He wants you to know he hasn't forsaken you. He wants you to know he hasn't forgotten about you. He said, but just in a little while, if you just wait, I'm going to complete it. If you just wait, you ain't going to want for nothing. Because I'm a man of my word. I know a lot of us have been like the Chinese planner. Uh, we got tired of waiting because we didn't see nothing. We said we might as well stop this because I don't see no results. I'm going to talk about this next week because we keep praying for stuff and it looks like we don't see nothing. It don't look like uh, the results is what we've been praying for. But at the end of the day, God is still a prayer answering God. The king thought for sure that the three Hebrew boys was crazy. Yeah. But he went on with the process. He threw them in and to his surprise, his soldiers got burned out. To his surprise, when he kept looking, he said, I thought we put three in there. Oh. Somebody said, no, nah. I see four. Just when you least expect, God's going to show up. Yeah. Okay, God. Just when you thought that it was over, here comes Jesus mm -hmm. stepping in. Stepping in. He stepped in the fire. He did. And they didn't even see him when he stepped in. No, they didn't. All they know was that he showed up. Mm -hmm. All they know was that he, God, I'm not shy. That the promise of the Father was that I'll never leave. Hallelujah, while you're waiting, come on here. I just need you to rejoice, come on here. Because God has not left you. I need you to rejoice.
that God is on his way to your house. I need you to rejoice. Come on here. That waiting ain't so bad. Come on here. I didn't, it's not as bad as I make it to be. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Mount up with wings as eagles. Run and not be weary. Walk and not faint. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God today. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's a blessing in the wait. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Just tell the Lord, thank you for not even saying no this time. Come on here. Hallelujah. Thank God. He said, wait and not no. Come on here. Hallelujah. It's a blessing. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because when you say wait, that means that you're still going to get it. You just got to wait for the right period of time. Come on here. Hallelujah. Come on. It's in the fullness of time. Hallelujah. That the promises of God shall come to pass. It may be a delay, but it's not a denial. Yes, sir. It may be a delay, but it's not a denial. If God said he's going to do it, he's going to do it. The key here is are you willing to wait? The key here is that are you willing to stay in the face of God? Are you still willing to serve while you wait? Are you still willing to give him glory while you wait? Are you still willing to lift up holy hands while you wait? Are you still willing to live righteous and holy while you wait? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Job said, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. What Job was saying, yet will I wait until my change come. He said, all the days of my appointed time is what he said. I will wait until my change come. Ah, Job got confidence. Ha -ha. Ah, he got confidence in God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm sick in my body. Glory to God. I done lost everything I had. My wife acting crazy. My friends are stupid. Come on here. At the end of the day, glory to God. I will wait. Cause hallelujah. Because change is coming. Come on here. He didn't bring me this far or come to leave me. Okay. Uh, he didn't bring me this far. He didn't bring me this far to leave. Hallelujah, glory to God. I'm going to get a little courage while I wait. Come on here. Uh -huh. Glory to God. I'm going to get a little courage while I wait. Hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah, tell somebody I'm just going to wait on it. Hallelujah, glory to God. Tell somebody be convinced that you're going to wait. And you ain't got no problem waiting. Come on here. I believe it was Juanita Bynum came out with that song. I don't mind waiting on you, Lord. Come on here. I don't mind waiting. Come on here. On you, Lord. Glory to God. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting on you, Lord. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting on you, Lord. Come on, sing it with me. I don't. Father, I thank you. You told us to wait on the promise of 
the Father. Because of the mere fact that we know what we're waiting on and who we're waiting on. God help us. God, I thank you that waiting should be so much easier because you promised it and you said it and you will do it. And so, Lord, I thank you today, God, that we really don't mind waiting. Glory to God. If we just get our flesh in order, if we just get our mind together. Father, we don't mind waiting on the Lord. Father, we thank you now for courage. We thank you for strength in this season. God, in the name of Jesus, for what you're yet doing, hallelujah, in the hearts and the minds of your people. Father, we give you thanks today. We give you praise. Thank you for what you're building in us, Father. Thank you, oh God, for the courage and the strength, the humility, God, the patience, the virtue, the things that you're building in us, Father, because you're going to take us to our expected end. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you. The waiting has not always been easy. But God, you told us to work while we wait. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You told us to occupy till you come. And so that's what you told us. You told us to wait. You told us to work while we're waiting. And so, Lord, I thank you today, oh God, for what you're yet doing. Give us the courage. Give us what we need. God, in the name of Jesus, help us to know, Father, that you won't never leave us. That you'll never forsake us. That you're always with us. Hallelujah. And we give you thanks. Remember these in the building today. Give your people strength today. Remember those online. Give your people strength today, God. Hallelujah. To endure in this season. God, give them courage to wait. In the name of Jesus. Because though the vision has tarried, it shall speak and not lie. And Father, we give your name the praise, the honor, and the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Clap your hands as you're going to your ear. Thank you for tuning in today. Amen. We pray that you were blessed. Amen. By the word of God. Amen. Glory to God. Pray that you've gotten something out of the word of God. Amen. That will keep you. Amen. That will sustain you. Amen. Throughout this week, throughout this season of your life. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. If you would like to sow into Refuge today, you can do so via cash app. Amen. Dollar sign. Refuge House of God. Amen. With the logo. Amen. Make sure you see the church's logo. Amen. Glory to God. Again, dollar sign. Refuge House of God. Amen. Glory to God. PayPal. Amen. Refuge House of God at msn.com. Amen. Glory to God. Give the fire. Search for Refuge House of God. Amen. Please consider sowing. Amen. Into our um, into our ministry. Amen. That we will continue. Amen. To further the gospel. Amen. Of Jesus Christ. Amen. Don't forget. Again, if you're joining us online and you would like to stay connected with the refuge. Amen. Text. Amen. The word online. O N. L-I-N-E to 704-397-3004. Amen. Glory to God. We just want to stay connected with you. Amen. Glory to God. And we just want to, amen. Glory to God. No. Amen. I want you to know, amen, that your refuge family loves you. Amen. Amen. So we thank God for you. Amen. We praise God for each and every one of you joining us online. Please know that your refuge family love you. Amen. Glory to God. And we appreciate you joining in. Amen. May the peace and the grace of God be with you both now and forevermore. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for listening to our broadcast today. To hear more of these messages, we invite you to attend one of our worship experiences. We're sure you'll be blessed and encouraged. Check out our website, refugehouseofgod.org, for more details. Or call our church office at 704-697-9752. The Lord bless you and keep you as our prayer. God bless.